We do have uh, we do have two kids. They're uh, great. They're they're both uh, two beautiful girls. They're both beautiful now. They're beautiful now. And <laughs> look, when they're first born, when they first come out, it, they've been vacuum sealed for nine months. Okay. <laughs> you got to give them time to just you know let them expand a little bit. <laughs> they look like bubble gum chewed up a little bit. <laughs> it threw me off. It threw me off. Because I remember she handed it to my wife, and we're both crying for different reasons. And <laughs> the, the nurse was like, do you want us to take a picture? I was like, for what, science? Like, why do you need a picture for Ripley, believe it or not? <laughs> no. no, it's the best, man. We, um, I remember my wife was freaking out because um, the first one started to walk around. She started to walk around, and my wife was like, oh my gosh, we got to baby-proof the place. We got to baby-proof the place. That was her big thing. I was like, relax. Let me baby-proof the place, okay? Because she tried to baby-proof something one time, and then we had a baby, so. No, okay. We did it on purpose, okay? That one was a joke. We had both our kids on purpose. I think that's important to say, all right? Because I found out my friend was an accident in middle school. Dude, I thought it was hilarious. I went and told my mom, I was like, I just found out Nathan was an accident. Isn't that funny? And she didn't laugh. And I'm the third kid. And I was like, Mom, am I an accident? Am I a mistake? And she said, God doesn't make mistakes. But your dad does. So. <laughs> so I found out I was a mistake. It is fun, though. It is fun being a parent. It is my favorite thing, truly. Uh, but when you're first-time parents, you like need to go and like get all the stuff you need for like the kids and stuff. Like you need to go get like a stroller and a crate and that sort of thing. And uh, it's a crate, whatever. You know, it's things are expensive. Whatever's on sale, you can carry them around in the first three months in a crate. They won't remember it. It's fine. You can tell people like this is my emotional support baby. So. <laughs> But we were in the store, this guy's super excited. He's like, oh, you're first time parents. Here's a bunch of books you can read. Here's a bunch of books you gotta read. And all of them were super, super helpful. We're like looking at some of them. But I noticed one book and it was called Baby Names and it was for $20. I was like, first of all, you can just call that book names. <laughs> no one has a different name when they're a baby. No one's ever been like, hey, I'm Steve, but my childhood friends call me Curtis, you know? <laughs> I was like, by the way, I was like, we're not spending $20 on a book of names, all right? We need to spend all the money on other stuff. I was like, so what we're going to do, sweetie, is we're going to watch a movie, okay? And we're just going to sit through all the end credits. <laughs> we'll just pick a name out of there we like, you know? So we have a beautiful little girl. Her name is Dwayne Johnson. And <laughs> she's my rock. I love her. She's the best. It's amazing. I will say though, we've been very lucky because we've had both set of grandparents helping out with the kids. If you know that, or if you're on either side, you know that's a huge blessing to have that in your life for them to help out. But I will say, I need to get them around people their own ages before they get into kindergarten. All right, because their grandparents are their best friends right now and it's a little troubling. Because my four-year-old, she is starting her sentences with back in my day. I'm like, what do you mean back in your day? What do you mean yesterday? <laughs> How far back are you going? Like she's saying the same things, like watching cartoons as my parents are saying, the, like watching the news. Like she'll be watching her cartoons and she's like, you know this is fake, right? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's a cartoon, of course it is. She asked me for a snack one time and it was close to dinner. And I was like, no, honey, we can't have a snack right now. We're about to eat. And she turns around and she goes, millennials. I was like, dude, what? <laughs> You've been eating too many Necco wafers with Nana. On a sugar high. We did, um, I think the move is, though, obviously, before you get to be parents, you should, like, you know, test some stuff out. You know, get an animal. That's something you should do. We have a dog. Uh, and I took him to the dog park one time. And a human fight broke out at the dog park, all right? This is what happened. The two humans start fighting. The dogs circle around like they're betting on the fight, right? And my dog got tangled up into it. And he starts limping away, and I had to pick him up and put him in the car. I took him to the vet, and the vet comes out, and he's like, I got some bad news for you. Your dog tore both of his ACLs. 
and I knew it was gonna be expensive, right? So I was like, okay, how much is it to repair one of them? <laughs> he's like, $4,600. I was like, oh no, he's totaled, oh no. <laughs> he's a 2009, so. Get a new one, I guess? <laughs> Relax, I fixed him, okay? It's not like he's a cat, chill out. It's... <laughs> no, look, I like all animals. Easy, I like all animals. Just dogs a little bit more, just a little bit more. Cause you can give a dog a job, right? Dogs can sniff out bombs at an airport. If that was a cat's job, you'd be like, I'm not on the plane, go ahead. I don't care what happens. <laughs> That's why there's no seeing eye cats. <laughs> All their owners walked into traffic the first day. The cats were like, ah, oh, he's got to learn sometime. <laughs> we'll say if you, if you take care of animals, you know, that's do like an indoor outdoor pet or like an indoor pet. I, I don't really agree with the outdoor thing. Just like an outdoor animal. That's weird to me. Like I, I had someone in my neighborhood. He was like, I got two outdoor cats. I was like, what does that mean? He's like, he goes, I, I put food on the porch sometimes, and they come and eat it, and then they go back out in the wild. I was like, well, they're not your cats then, are they? You're sponsoring a cat. That's all you're doing. You don't get to say those are your cats. Like, back home, where I'm from, I know two homeless guys by name, and I give them change every single time I walk by them. But you don't see me walking around and be like, well, I have a wife, I have two kids, and two outdoor people. <laughs> I did hear about this, uh, this one guy though, he's trying to like be kind and like take care of animals. And he was going through the Appalachian mountains and he picked up this puppy off the side of the road. And he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise this puppy. And then two months later, he found out it was a bear. <laughs> yeah, because the, the puppy got on his back legs, started walking around like a bear like this. <laughs> and I was like, well, good for that guy for realizing that was a bear then. Because if that were me, I don't think that would have clicked for me. I would have called up my friends and be like, you guys won't believe what my dog's doing right now. 